Hi, and welcome to another episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host, Linda Peterson of Linda Peterson Designs. And I'm going to show you a brand new technique today that I call Glisten and Shine. You'll need your strips of Friendly Plastic and some Genesis oil paints. So, are you ready to get started? Well, let's go! first thing that you'll need to do is gather your rubber stamped image that you want. Now this is a clear polymer stamp. This is one I'm going to be using today. But you could also use unmounted rubber stamps or even foam stamps. Next I'm going to be using Genesis oil paints. Now it takes just a little bit of um, oil paint to do this project and they do come in smaller containers. I'm using ultramarine blue and diazonine purple. You can use any color combination that you would like. And then you'll cho choose your background strip of friendly plastic. Now I'm choosing the gold matte and it has black on the back. You could choose any metallic color that you like, light blue, a purple. This color here is what is going to be your background color. Now I'm going to apply some of the artist uh, oil color to my finger and I'm going to lightly daub that on the surface of the plastic. Now the one thing that you want to make sure is that you can see some of the gold foil or your background color through your oil paint. You don't want this so heavy that it um, is opaque otherwise the effect just won't be the same. And With these oil paints, because they are oil paints, you can mix them. That one there is only a little thick. We'll pull some of that out. And you'll want to cover the entire surface of your stick. Now one of the reasons that I daub with my finger, it's kind of a, a china painting technique in blending, that helps to remove some of the paint off of the surface. Again, you don't want this to be too opaque. You want to be able to see some of the sheen, like you can here, of your metallic foil. Because it's oil paint, it won't dry. Now it's time to take and apply your stamp. Now what this is going to do, your stamp is actually going to lift off some of the color and that's good. Now you can see that we have the stamped image. So you'll continue stamping until you have your entire strip with the pattern that you like. Now anything that didn't come out quite right, you can take the blunt end, I blunted the end of a toothpick right here, and I can draw in any extra detail and correct anything that didn't come out quite right. Once you have your pattern stamped or drawn, you can draw um, any pattern that you like on with the toothpick as well. You can see that I've added little polka dots in through here. Once you have it the way you like, then you'll be placing this on the griddle on a nonstick uh, cookie sheet. Uh, my griddle is set to 200 degrees and you'll leave it there approximately two to three minutes until the plastic has completely melted. Okay, now that my plastic is soft, before I place it into cold water, you may choose to give this a little more dimension and you can do so just by pressing into the plastic and outlining the petals on the flower or of your design. And once you have all of your dimension in place, then simply place this into ice water and let the plastic harden. Okay, you can see that because Genesis paint is an oil paint that dries when it's baked at 265 degrees, we've used the griddle to set the paint on the surface of the friendly plastic. You can see that it doesn't rub off. And I want to show you what the textured area here looks like. And this is the non-textured area. Now you could simply snip off a piece uh, with your scissors and punch a little hole and add a jump ring to make it into a pendant. Or you could remelt this using a cookie cutter and any one of Patera's findings. You could use an oval cookie cutter to set in the design sort of like I have with this one here. Here's one that I um, did the pattern with a um, foam stamp and I drew with the toothpick to outline the edges and make the flower stand out a little bit more. Here's one that I did with a polymer stamp. You can see it's this one here is double-sided. 
and it's just a geometric freeform shape. So you have lots of possibilities with this technique that I call glisten and shine. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's new technique. You can get more techniques and inspiration on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. And while you're there, be sure to email me because I want to hear from you. I want to see your artwork and I'll feature you as a guest artist on our blog. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I look forward to seeing you again next time.